Hi there. This is a packing video for my Be Prepared in the um, Jujube and Tokidoki print, Tokidoki Dreams. Um, I know a lot of people say that this is a great bag for anyone who has multiples, but I'm using it for my one child who's four months old, um, and I find it to be a really great bag. I think um, if you're kind of an overpacker or if you just kind of want to make sure that you have anything you could possibly need while you're out and about, um, this is a great bag. So I have this packed up um, for taking my four-month-old to a church event with me this morning. It was a two-hour event. I had a, an hour drive to get there and a close to an hour drive back-ish. Um, so I really wanted to make sure that I had everything that I was going to need. Um, if you're someone who kind of finds yourself out with your child or your children without your husband or your partner or someone there to help you, this is a great bag because you can kind of cram everything in there and you don't really find yourself grabbing for multiple bags and trying to carry multiple things. So um, this worked out really great for me for the event that I had today. Um, like I said, it was a, a church event. It was kind of half social, half study. So I needed this packed for... Um, a time of being social where I knew this was going to be on my shoulder so I needed it to be light but there was also going to be a time of study where things were going to be quiet my four month old was going to be expected to behave a little bit and I needed to make sure I had kind of everything that he was going to need so I'm going to just go through everything that's in this bag and I'll try to talk about what worked and maybe some things that didn't work for me to try to give you an idea of whether or not the be prepared is a, a decent bag for you so the first thing I'm going to pull out, just because it's adding some some kind of misshapenness to my bag, is uh, I threw in a quick in the Duchess print in this very first kind of snap pocket in the front of the Be Prepared. Um, I love matching this print with Tokidoki Dreams. It looks so cute. Um, if you don't mind that the hardware is different, you've got the gold Duchess print um, hardware here and the silver Tokidoki print here. Um, if that doesn't bother you, then they look absolutely adorable together and I just love it. So um, in here, all I had was um, a little notepad for taking notes and I had my Crossway ESV Bible in here. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but I like to put this in here when I'm going to church because I can just grab this little quick out of the bag and I've got my Bible and my little notebook for taking notes and uh, I have a, a pen stashed down there as well. So even with these two kind of bulky things inside of the quick, I can fit this in here really nicely and it sinks down into the bag, no problem, and it's kind of hidden out of the way, but I can snatch it out of there really fast when it's time to read my Bible. So that's all I had in this front pocket. Um, once that quick is out of there, this makes a nice little place to throw things that people or your child put in your hands uh, while you're out and about. Um, so I, I love this little pocket, it's just a great kind of catch-all. Um, I'll go through what I have in the mommy pocket. I didn't have a lot in here today because my son and I were like frantically trying to get out the door on time. You moms know how hard it is to get someplace on time when you have a, a little one. Um, so this is just the things that are in here were just the things that were kind of already in here before I walked out the door. Um, the first thing I had is the small set piece in the black diamond print. Um, this I just always kind of keep packed with some essentials for mommy needs. Um, deodorant, just because you never know when you're going to find yourself needing some of that. So that's in there. Um, I have a couple of Tokidoki um, barrettes that I was given as a gift from a really sweet mom on the BST who gave me this bag. So I haven't used these yet, but I'm excited for the first time I need to pin my hair up and I'm going uh, to use those, so I'm really excited. I have some travel scissors because I just always find myself needing to cut things. I, I don't know. Uh, a tampon and then kind of just thrown into the bottom of this set piece. I have just like weird things that you find yourself needing. I have a nail file. Um, I have some, some of the, I don't know, do your ears ever get itchy? Because mine do and I, sometimes I just need to like just get in there. So I have a bunch of those. And uh, these little toothpicks, which are so great because I, I tend to, my husband and I both tend to get things stuck in our teeth. So perhaps an overshare, but it's great to have these things stuffed in a little small set piece and tucked away just uh, in case you find yourself in need of them.
And I like to just take this small set piece and leave it attached to the key fob and tuck it into this net like little mesh pocket here. I don't really find much other use for this pocket, so it's great to shove that down in there. It's tucked away um, and you can grab for it easily. In this mesh pocket up here, I have a little notepad just in case I ever want to take some notes and uh, a pen that fits quite nicely. This is a very short pen. You can't fit like a regular size pen in there, but I love this one. This was a gift from my husband uh, on the day I completed my PhD. So I like keeping this with me wherever I go. It's just a nice little, little thing I love from my husband. Um, I have a small set piece in the Duchess print in um, this kind of side clear window here. And in here, I just have a bunch of coupons and things that we've accumulated over time. There's some coupons for Bed Bath & Beyond and Bath & Body Works and things like that. So I just like to have those with me in case we find ourselves in that store and I can pull out my coupon because I always end up not having the coupon when I need it. Um, in this pocket here, I always keep a pill case. Um, I have bad allergies and I live in the South, so it's kind of necessary to always have that. And then I love this sunglass pocket, never for sunglasses, because I, I don't really know who wears sunglasses that are this skinny, but not me, so I don't put my sunglasses in there. But what I do keep in here is a power bank. I'll pull it out for you to see. I got this at Walgreens and I love it. It's so easy to charge. You can just plug it right into your computer or anything that has a USB connection to it. You can see here. Um, and what I do is I kind of keep the cord all folded up like this and I put the bank down into the, um, the pocket here and I leave the cable kind of sticking out. So that way, um, if I ever need to charge my phone, I just kind of pull this out, attach it to my phone and then kind of stick it in this front pocket here so my phone can be charging uh, while I'm on the go. And then I think the only other thing Oh yeah, that I have in here is some tissues, just in case anyone in my pack finds themselves needing this. So that's everything that was in the mommy pocket. Um, on the sides, you know, you won't be too surprised to know that I have a bottle in here. Um, I pumped before I went to this gathering today because I just knew I was going to get there and he was going to be hungry and I'm trying to meet and greet and I didn't want to be like, hi, I'm Amber and here's my boob. So, um, I pumped some milk, I had this in here, I gave this to him as soon as we got to the event um, and it was great to just not have to worry about, you know, sort of the anxieties of breastfeeding in a new situation. So I had a bottle on this side and that was everything um, here. What I kind of like to do, and, and you don't see it now, but I like to wrap the bottle in a burp cloth and then put it in here so that that way when it's time to feed him, I can pull that out. I've got the burp cloth already all together and um, they both fit really nicely inside this pocket. And uh, lastly, on the outside of the bag, I had my nine ounce swell bottle in this pocket. I think that's all that was in there. Um, and then I had a pocket back, which I love using with this bag. Um, you just, I'm so scared that my hand sanitizer is going to spill inside the bag, so I always like to keep it outside where I kind of can know that it's not gonna bump up against anything else and squirt out. So that's everything that was on the outside of the bag. So I guess now what I'll do is get into the inside and show you how I had this packed. Um, I'm not using a great camera, I'm using my phone. So I wish that I could like move the camera up above and let you, well, I guess I can just pick it up. So you can see kind of how it was packed up. It looked much prettier before I had to get into it. It was packed really nicely this morning. Um, but now after a day of getting in and out of it, it's looking a little messy. But um, for the rest of the video, what I'll do is I'll show you what I had inside the bag and what I was using it for. Tuck that away. So um, the first thing that I had in here was my wet bag. Um, it's got a diaper in it now. It was folded really neatly inside the front pocket of the Be Prepared. Um, I always toss this into my bag and keep it um, just tossed in this front pocket so that, that way whenever I have a dirty cloth diaper I can throw it in here. Um, you would be amazed how many cloth diapers you can fit here in the Be Prepared and that's where I keep this wet bag. And it fits perfectly, um, you know, no trouble getting the wet bag in and out even when it's got several diapers in there. Um, the next thing that I had in this enormous bag was my Lilla baby all folded up. 
Um, I was so glad that I had this with me. Um, I ended up really needing it. My son was having a clingy day. He wanted to be held and I'm trying to be sociable. So um, it was great to just yank that out of the be prepared and wear him and then keep on going about my day. So you can see this is what remained in the bag after I took the little baby out. There was still plenty of other things that fit in the bag. And the little baby just took up this space over here. So um, inside the mesh pocket, um, right on the inside of the bag, I had my medium set piece in Dutch's print. And this was sort of packed like a little medical bag slash entertainment bag for my son. So I have some Tylenol, and the syringe for administering that. I have neat cheeks. Um, I have a little <laughs> nursing necklace for my son. Um, I like to wear this while he's nursing. It keeps him entertained. Of course, because there's all these tassels, he never gets to play with it when I'm not around. But this kind of keeps him entertained while he's nursing or even when he's not nursing, sometimes I can like jingle it in front of him and just keep him entertained when I'm trying to talk or something. So add that in there. Um, gripe water because you just don't want to go anywhere without this when you have a, a less than six month old. So we have that and a couple of syringes. And then we're teething at the moment, so we also have a little bit of Aura Gel just in case we find ourselves needing that. So this is great. I keep the little, um, the small strap attached to it. That way, if my son is getting fussy and I know he needs a little bit of medical attention, I can just yank this out of my bag and uh, help him out. Um, the next thing that I had is my medium set piece in black diamond, again with the small strap attached to it. And this I was using as my wallet. I'm really, really excited for the mother of all releases to happen so that I can get my B spendy, which I'm so excited for. Um, but for now, this is acting as a wallet. So I've got just a little card organizer here. Um, my Donatella Sweet Shop small set piece, which I've got lip gloss and just other kind of cosmetics in there. And a little comb for my son because he's four months old, but he's got a huge head full of hair and I always find it in like a rat's nest situation. So I keep a comb in there just to help him out. I love being able to just grab this right out of my bag and take it with me in case, um, you know, I need to run to the restroom and touch up my makeup or anything like that. Um, the next thing I had is my Quick in the Empress print. Um, this has got all of my diapering needs in it. I had to get into it while we were out, so it's a little bit rated at this time, but um, I've got one cloth diaper left in there, uh, a booty pod, um, a disposable changing pad, because sometimes I just don't want to yank out the big, the big one that came in to be prepared, um, some cloth diapering friendly um, diaper rash stuff, and some baby powder because we don't like being wet so I always put that in there as well. So again this is a great bag that I can just snatch out of my be prepared if I want to just run and change a diaper really fast. I grab this and I grab my wet bag and we can go and I don't have to worry about dragging the whole bag with me. So that's everything that was kind of in the main compartment of the bag. Now I'm just going to go around starting with the side and go through all of the mesh pockets back around to the front. So um, in the far side mesh pocket, I had an entire um, nursing cloth in there, or nursing blanket, whatever you'd call it. Um, I don't always use a cover, but sometimes I like to have it with me, especially when I'm in church, just because you know I don't want to deal with all of that. So um, this was tucked into the side. It fits perfectly in there when it's rolled up, and I can very easily snatch it right out of there when it's time to nurse my son. Um, also in that mesh pocket, I had some off spray for my husband and I because we were at the zoo this weekend and just found ourselves in need of that. In the back mesh pockets, um, I had two changes of clothes for my son. Um, you know, we still sometimes have blowouts, so I always make sure that I have at least one, usually two onesies with me. Um, in the smaller mesh pocket in the back, I have the matching be neat that goes with this bag. Um, you know, my son doesn't eat solid foods yet. He's still breastfed, but I like to throw this on him because uh, since he's teething, he's constantly drooling. Um, and I don't like his clothes getting soaking wet. So this be neat is amazing. If you don't have a jujube be neat, you need to get one, especially if you have a teether in your house. 
um, because this is so water repellent. I mean, the water from his mouth will just go straight down it. It keeps his clothes totally dry, and I love that we can show up someplace and just whip the uh, the bee neat off of him, and voila, he's got a nice, dry, clean shirt, and I don't feel embarrassed that my son is soaking wet. So definitely check out a bee neat if you don't have one. And um, the last thing that I have in my bag is this great product here, which I just got. This is called a Yummy Mitt, and it might not be for everyone, but it's great for my son. This is actually a little teething mitt that my son can put on his hand, um, so it fits right over his little hand and he can chew on it. This is a nice uh, rubbery kind of tough material here, and instead of chewing on his hands and getting them all waterlogged or chewing on anything else that's around him, I can put this on his little hand and he'll, he'll put it in his mouth and chew on it. I've really loved it so far. I wasn't sure how he was gonna like it, but it's been great. This is all kind of water resistant fabric here, so it doesn't get all drooly and gross. And it comes in a cute little um, baggie as well, so I can just toss that in the be prepared. Um, whenever I see like a lot of gnawing and chewing behavior out of him, I'll pull this out. I did today at, at church and it was great. It just kept him quiet for a little while longer and peaceful. So uh, that's all I have in my bag. I hope this was helpful. Um, so that's that. As you can see, there's a lot you can fit in this bag. It's a beautiful, handy, great bag to have with you. Um, and I just can't recommend it enough. So thanks for checking out my video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.